The topic of this video is solving nonlinear systems of equations by substitution or elimination. This is a continuation of the previous video. Okay, in our previous video, we were presented with this problem. The difference of two numbers is two and the sum of their squares is 10, find the numbers. And we came up with two ordered pair solutions. Now is the part where we check. So you'll notice that I have colored both of our solutions uh, in boxes. So we've got our orange box solution, negative one, negative three, and our green box solution, three, one. I've also drawn a number line here where I've shown those numbers in their respective colors, and we're gonna use this number line to check our answer. All right, so first of all, when it says the difference of two numbers, one way of determining the difference of numbers is to find out how far apart they are on a number line. So if we wanna know the difference between these two numbers, we can just put them on a number line and count the number of steps. There are two units between these two values. Between three and one is two steps, so the difference of those numbers is two. And similarly with our other point, negative one and negative three are also two steps apart, two units. So the difference of those two numbers is two. The next thing is that is the sum of their squares is 10. That means square each number and then add them together. So let's write our squares directly underneath here. One squared is one, three squared is nine, and one plus nine is 10. And similarly over here, negative three times itself is positive nine, negative one times itself is positive one, and since it says sum, we add them together and we get 10. So by doing this, we have proven that we have solved the original problem. We could also check our answer by using symbolic algebra. So let's rewrite our two equations one more time. They were x minus y equals two, which was equation one, and x squared plus y squared equals 10, which was equation two. We can now plug both points into both equations. For example, let's plug in point one, our orange point, into equation one. Then we would get x, which is negative one, subtract y, which is negative three, equals two. Subtracting a negative is adding, so I get negative one plus three equals two. Negative one plus three is two, two equals two, and that works. Now we can try plugging point one into equation two. So everywhere we see x, we put negative one, so it'd be negative one squared plus. Everywhere we see y, we put negative three, so it'd be negative three squared equals one plus nine equals 10, 10 equals 10. All right, so point one is validated as a solution to our problem. Now we just have to go through the same steps with point two. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's do point two in equation one. So in equation one, replace x with three, replace y with one. Three minus one equals two, two equals two, and that checks. And then we will plug point two into equation two. So x is three, y is one, nine plus one equals 10, 10 equals 10. And that proves that point two really is a solution. So when it says find the numbers, you can write the numbers are three and one, or you can write the numbers are negative one and negative three. Let's write those two sentences. The numbers are three and one, or negative one and negative three. And with that, we've finished our problem.